for ISO pops, you want to start with your basic isolation. So to quickly cover how we do isolations, you start with the hoop in front of you, slightly above your head, belly button height, framing your upper body. Hand is at six o'clock, tracing the inside of the hoop, and then releasing to go over the top. Make sure you go both directions. I find that for doing ISO pops, it's helpful to start my isolations counterclockwise. So for you, if you're facing the camera, counterclockwise would be this way. I'd be leading with my pinky of my right hand to do those ISOs. Okay, so for the ISO pop, my hand is going to basically trace a, a diamond pattern. I'm going to move to nine o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock. So, diamond pattern. All right, so with the hoop, I'm going to, ha I have a pretty firm grip on the hoop to hold it in this position. You're going to push as you move your hand to your nine o'clock position, then release as you go to 12 o'clock, and then the hoop, the hoop should actually roll across the back of your hand. As, uh, as it swings across, your hand is gonna move to the three o'clock position and grab the hoop from the outside. This is the most tricky part from here. You're, you have a nice firm grip, but loose enough to rotate your hand to the inside, bend your elbow and bring your hand back down to six o'clock. So again, slowly, nine o'clock, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six. Up and over, down. Up and over, down. Notice how my hand, the hoop is rolling across the back of my hand, but staying in this plane. It should look as if it's floating across in front of me without dipping down below my bottom hand. Again, slowly. A little faster nice if you throw in a few isolations in between to reset. You can also reverse this. You just reverse it exactly the same way that we did it in the other direction. Make sure that you practice both hands. And that's how we do a hula hoop isopop.